Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes the KC Baseball Report presented by Budweiser. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Overland Park Golf Club. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, July 28th. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Uh, this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Now, Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. And they offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. You can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines, and you are watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this show is being taped at former Royal Danny Jackson's Incredible, which is located at 151st and Antioch where you can bowl, you can play mini golf and laser tag. And with your coupon from Kansas City Sports and Fitness, you can buy a double play of any two of those activities and get a second double play free. Or buy one meal at the Breakfast Nook and get the second meal free. You can visit Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700 for more information. Now today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN 1510 on Saturdays at 8 o'clock in the morning. And our TV show, which can be seen on SureWest Cable at, on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m., at 4.30 p.m., and at 8.30 p.m. every single day. And now you can also view our show and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that the current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in Kansas City. And this month with our current issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. And our new issue of SheKC is available at over 500 locations. Now in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our KC Baseball Spotlight presented by Budweiser. This month we visit with some of the All-Stars, uh, the Royals' most recent All-Star, Billy Butler, and two-time All-Star and member of the 85 Royals, Danny Jackson, who will be joining us in the second, ha second half of the show today. And in SheKC we have a story about uh, Kansas City's own gold medal winner, Christy Ambrosi, who was a part of the U.S. Olympic softball team in 2000. Plus we show you ways to stay safe and protect yourself this summer. Now, you can pick up your current copy of our current issue of KC Sports at Burger King, both Minsky's on Berry Road, Mr. Goodsense, the Kansas City Ice Center, here at Incredible as well, where we're doing our show, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. And for a complete list of locations where you can find Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website, or you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue and some of our past issues as well on our website. And our publication, SheKC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness. And you can visit our website, SheKC.com. You can check us out on Facebook by searching SheKC, or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now we are joined uh, as our, our first guest by Vahid Asadpur, who is a third year member of the Missouri Comets. He's a midfielder for the Missouri Comets in the major indoor soccer league. He wears number seven, I think. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, he correct. wears number seven. And the Comets home opener is coming up on November 16th. Welcome, Vahid. Thank you. How you guys doing? Oh, terrific. Very good. Now, before we get started talking about the Comets and your career here in Kansas City, let's find out a little bit more about you. You're one of the few Iranian-born professional athletes in the United States. Correct. Correct? Yeah. Yep. Um, so how long did you live in Iran, um, and then how did you get over here? Uh, I was born in Iran. At the age of two, my uh, family decided to move out because of the war that was happening back home, and we went to Toronto. 
And then at the age of 17, I uh, got a full ride to go to University of Detroit. Mm -hmm. So went out there for school, uh, graduated for with a criminal justice degree. Mm -hmm. And then um, after that, got the opportunity to play professional in Detroit right. for four years with their professional indoor team. And then my contract was up. And I had opportunity to come to Kansas City, so I kind of jumped on it. Cool. Well, we'll, t we'll talk a little bit more detail about some of those things. Why did your family wind up in Toronto? Uh, my dad heard that uh, Canada, first of all, to migrate to Canada was a lot easier okay. than the United States. So mm -hmm. uh, we kind of migrated to Canada. And Toronto is a beautiful city. Yeah. And we always heard good things about it when we were back home. Right. So my dad decided to just take that route. So it was nice living in Toronto and growing up in Toronto. I mean, it's, it's right, acro isn't it, right across the, from Detroit. Yeah, so. exactly. That's yeah. Uh, one of my reasons I went to school there because it was like four hours away. Four, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and you were two when you moved, so you really don't remember probably very much about living in, uh, yeah. in Iran. Your, most of your life was, was as a kid just growing up in Toronto. In Toronto, yeah. yeah. I don't remember much, but my parents spoke and uh, right. to me in Farsi, so I could speak and understand the sure. language, so yeah. Sure. So when did you start? I'm assuming you played many sports as a kid. Definitely, yes. And in your in Toronto, I still have. I have to ask. I'm a hockey fan. So how co how come soccer instead of hockey? Come on, man. My uh, <laughs> my father played professional soccer back oh, then, okay. and that's why. So it's all kinda, right. I, I give you a I give you a pass. Yeah, I okay. give you da dad was an influence. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So when did obviously he had you kicking a ball around in the backyard or something like that when you were walking? Uh, when I was two years old, I was kicking a ball around, and at the age of five is when I started competing like uh in a team and ever sure. since then kind of just stuck with it sure so and yeah. I, I had one that's uh, a kid that started at age five and it was just herd ball you know just just a bunch of kids running around the ball well, that's exactly yeah it's like white on rice just running <laughs> around you know <laughs> but you were probably different at that point i would you, like to think you, so yeah you knew yeah. what was going on now now um so you you grew up playing that now your sister uh, is it your sister? Is Nita your sister? Yeah, that's okay. I have two sisters. Have that's two my sisters? younger sister. Okay. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a year younger skater, than me. Right? Yeah, she was. She was. So on she, she went the right way. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> living in Toronto, she went to the ice sports. Yeah, so. she uh, she was actually gonna go for the Olympic team for Canada. Oh, really? And she was training, and she went to do a double axle and tore ACL. Ooh. So kind of put her career Ooh. out. But now she has her own skating school back in Toronto. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, with that's over awesome. five hundred kids, so that, she does well. That's so interesting that you know family members take it to that high a level I and mean, yeah. you see so much of that definitely you know, yeah, yeah. The, the genes are good uh, I, as I far as the so, athletics yeah. go yeah and, and obviously um you know you played for your high school team uh did now when when at this current time there's this controversy about playing for your high school team or playing for a club team because the club teams are the best of the best definitely usually. yeah it, when you were growing up was it that way as well or uh, did you just play high school i did both okay you know i did both out because usually my high school was right after high school so it didn't conflict with club which was a few hours oh, okay. after high okay. school so okay. yeah okay so you couldn't get enough of being out on the field definitely and, and yeah. this was soccer not the indoor soccer this was the soccer on the big field Def with yeah, the big the outdoor goals soccer. and all yep, that yep, stuff. Yep, yeah, yep. Um, and and then you went to college. You mentioned you got a scholarship and you went in Detroit. Yeah. Um, what now? What level was that? Division level? Uh, it's NCAA. It was Division One. Okay. Yeah, Division One. So who one. who were some of the competitive other uh, schools? That you UIC in? in Chicago had a great team. Loyola okay. in Chicago. Sure. Milwaukee had a great team. Yeah. Okay, so so you were playing against some, yeah, some those high quality, and definitely, all that. yeah, and and criminal justice and addiction studies. What is uh, criminal justice? We all kind of know what that yeah, is. Well, addiction studies. Uh, the reason why I did my addiction studies is because uh, I mean, with criminal justice, a lot of the crime goes hand in hand with the gotcha. substance. Gotcha. So a lot of my courses that I took for criminal justice, I just needed to do a few more courses to complete a minor. Mm -hmm. So my advisor, my counselor, told me, "Hey, why don't you just jump on this, do a few extra courses, and." It educated me why a lot of the crime happens. It right. goes with the substance, so sure. it kind of intertwines. Understand that, yeah. and and so after the soccer career is over, will you see? Do you see yourself using that degree, or do you see yourself continuing in the soccer world? I see myself uh, continuing in the soccer world. Okay. Hopefully, I want to coach sure. when my career is over. You know, pass my talent on to the younger Absolutely. kids coming up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so then you went pro and you played in the extreme soccer league. That what what was that? Was that a part of the MISL or was it when a separate thing? When I first came into the league, it was MISL. 
Okay. And then uh, there was uh, the t the league folded, and it went two different directions. Oh, okay. So one league was called MISL, the other te league was called Extreme Soccer League. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And you played for the Detroit Ignition, Detroit which, is, Ignition. which is a cool name yeah, for yeah. you know for that city. Right. Um, now. Were you a midfielder for them? Yeah, I was a midfielder okay, for so them. Okay, so again, explain. The midfielder is the guy... Midfielder helps out the offense and helps out defense. It's okay. to kind of connect that bridge in the middle, you know. He plays both sides of the field, the offensive third and defensive third. A lot of running back and forth. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. But you're in that confined 200-foot 200, 200 space. That's right. Which is at least, you know, at least, I mean, I, again, I played some hockey. So we played on the same same thing field, it, you, yeah. ju you just you know you use your feet and i barely use my <laughs> skates you know to get around but but um and i did not play professionally i want you to know like this guy um but uh, so how'd you wind up with the comets i uh like i said my contract was up in detroit and then i got a few offerings i got had one from baltimore i had one from milwaukee kansas city and i had a few teammates that i played with in the past in detroit that were also coming to Kansas City. The goalie? Yeah, goalie. Uh, Waltman. Uh, Danny Waltman, yeah. and then there's Leo Gibson. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a teammate I played with. Actually, he moved to Wichita last season. His name was Beasley, Jamar Beasley. Mm -hmm. So there's a few of us that we just came over together, you know. So it sure. helped out my decision. Sure. So you got a three-year deal. You're yeah. in your third year right now. No, I'm in my second year. You're in your year. second year right yeah. now? Yeah. Okay, but the start of the next season, is that the start of year three or year two? Well, this is what, when I originally moved, I signed a two-year deal. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, and then at the end of my first year, I uh, sat back down with the organization and signed a new New deal, which gotcha. is a three-year deal. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so, so you're, in, you're in, in your second negotiation. You're in your second year. Uh, yeah, okay. definitely. But third year with the team starting <laughs> Under, out. Yeah. Understood. Okay. Understood. Now, uh, as that midfielder, you're you're involved in the scoring a lot. Right. Uh, and obviously in the keeping them from scoring a lot. Defense part, yeah. Type of thing as well. So you were the number four leading scorer for the team last year with 35 points. That's a great season. Right. Um, and then um, – I guess let's talk a little bit of indoor soccer basics. A goal is actually not one point. It's yeah, that's correct. The goal is two points. And uh, like basketball, you know, there's that arc. And yeah. if you score from behind the arc, it's three points. Awesome. So, that's yeah, there's high scoring. And th that's what the fans love, you know. They love to see that uh, not one, two, nothing. They right. They see 22 to 12, <laughs> 22 to 10. Yeah, you guys had a game that was like 33 to 12 or something yeah. like that oh, yeah. last I, year. That was I at think. home, yeah, that's was right. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the fans had to be just nuts yeah. for that game. It's like, it's oh, my God, time. they scored again. <laughs> wow, yeah. And, and that's, you know, I mean, I've seen outdoor and I've seen indoor soccer. And, of course, you know, coming from the hockey background is like, yeah, you want to see that speed. That speed up and down, using the boards and all that the stuff. Action, yeah. Just the fact that you're confined into this space is, right. is going to make it more difficult. Now, how many players for hockey? There's five of us out there plus a goalie. That's for you guys. That's that same what it thing. Is? Yeah, five and a goalie. Okay, so how is it set up? Two D, two forwards. Yeah, and, one, and then you that's floating yeah, around. Yeah, exactly. It's usually two one two. You know, or sometimes right. teams even play two two one. Right. And the second midfielder feeds off. Okay. And just, like, lures off the other midfielder. So it just depends how you play. But most teams, it's 2-1-2. Two, two. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you have penalties, like, in hockey as yeah, well? Yeah, we do. We have two-minute penalties. Okay. Yeah, and okay. if it's really bad, you can get up to five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, just like in hockey. Same, yeah, same exactly. kind of thing. Yeah, Because, yeah. uh, you know, you guys don't you don't want to hit each other into the boards. That's not a part of your game. Yeah, definitely. Necessary, but it happens. Yeah, yeah. it happens. I it mean, happens. it's pretty physical sport. You know, you get near the wall and just going for the ball so bodies can end up into the boards. But oh, yeah. it's not part of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now for the uh, for the change, now let's talk, first of all, let me back up. The place that you guys play most of your games here in Kansas City is the... Independence uh, Event Center. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And that's where the Missouri Mavericks play yeah, ice hockey. Right. And then you guys, you guys share that with them. Uh-huh. Um, um, so, your adjustment from the outdoor game to the indoor game, what was whoops, what was that like? Uh, I would say it's speed of play. I mean, in outdoor, it's 11 v 11, and uh, you have more time on the ball because mm -hmm. it's a lot of ground for mm -hmm. people to cover. Mm -hmm. It's uh, You have five to seven seconds. Where indoor, it's so little, the field is so small that uh, it's so tough to cover that, like, you can't afford to have a bad touch. Your decisions have to be on point. You get the ball, you have a second or two to decide, and then someone's on you. Right, yeah. yeah. And then if you get by somebody, 
someone's on you. It definitely. You don't you don't have a yeah. little room to look up and exactly. see a, a play a play happen. But right? that's what the fans love. Yeah. The fast oh, yeah. speed, you know, oh, it's yeah. so quick, the action's always there. Where oh, yeah. I've heard a lot of people say that when they go to see the outdoor games a little bit too boring. I don't think so cuz I understand the <laughs> game, but for the fans, I could see their point of view. Well, the, and yeah, and and I played baseball as a kid growing up and yeah, I can enjoy watching the pitcher make certain pitches and things like that which or, i don't understand or, or a hitter adjust to a you know to a right. certain thing or or get a, you know get a hit and yeah so you 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 study the all those aspects of the game you can say oh my god that was a great move that Definitely. that guy made that is, uh, that is a tough one right and then it's the sa the same, same way and i can watch hockey and say th and say that oh my god that's not an easy move to absolutely make. so yeah, yeah. I, I understand that but yeah we don't want to say that to blake our our uh, <laughs> our producer here because he's a sporting KC guy wearing the sporting KC wear right now. So, uh, but I do like the indoor sport as well. Um, you know, in the high scoring aspect of it. Um, now, do you play halves or, or we play four quarters? Four quarters. Yeah, okay. each quarter consists of fifteen minutes. And then you you switch. And switch each and yeah, switch. each quarter we switch sides. That's right. Uh, okay, and and as far as. Uh, you're not out there the whole time. Are, do you change on the fly? Yeah, like we change. Ex that's exactly. Oh, it that's depends awesome. on the team. Some teams change uh, for each position. They have three players rotating. Right, right. And some teams rotate in twos. Like our team is one of the few teams in the league that rotates in twos. Okay. So we get a lot of time on the field, you know. Right. But uh, most teams rotate in threes for one position. Right, yeah. right. Um, who are some of the players that we should watch for at – upcoming Com comets games besides yourself right. you know because you. you're a you know you're a big leader on the team and we'll talk about that in thank you uh, well. i mean we have our veterans we have our main older guys for example our goalkeeper danny waltman leo gibson uh, byron alvarez uh myself some of the older guys that have been in the league but some of the newer guys for example our rookie of the year uh when is that two seasons back when he first started lucas rodriguez right last season we had a player come uh play with us john sosa mm -hmm. yeah so i think these two players next year will have a like greater influence you know on the team so i i think those two if you were to ask me it would probably be john sosa and lucas to really look out for for sure for yeah. sure and you just added a couple of New forwards from uh, Denmark. De De yeah, from yeah, Denmark. Definitely. I don't know much about them. Yeah. I've seen the resumes. They <laughs> look pretty good, so I'm excited to go into camp. Is is there uh, much of an issue with language and things like that? Um, uh, you know, with the players. I mean, you know, I know you get out there and there. You know, it, it becomes you're all playing the same game. So. That that's the bottom line. I mean, yeah, it, would it be easier if everyone spoke the same language? Absolutely. You know, but right. soccer's uh, international sport, and the ball kind of talks. You know, it, right. so. It's really we follow what the ball does. So right, and I also read that you guys you guys have a very family oriented approach to the team. Definitely, you know, you're quoted in an article that I read in talking about the team as a family. Right, and you know, how do you again? You're one of the leaders on the team. How do you develop that with the, you know, especially with these guys, new guys that are coming in and things like that? Yeah, I I think it's you got to make it a habit. You know what I mean? You can't you can't do it halfway in the season or in the playoffs. It's something from day one. You know, and a leader, I don't think is, uh, they don't try to be a leader. Right. You know what I mean? It's just within them. You know, and then the rookies or the young guys that are come up see how it is, and they just follow. You know, and it just becomes like a melting pot. Sure. And, I mean, as you know, you played hockey. I think championships aren't won on the field. It's in the locker room. You right, know what I mean? Really. What yeah. you guys do in the locker room, even off the field, it shows everything on the field. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I played in Detroit. We I won a championship in Detroit. And I could say a lot of it was because of what happened in the locker room. Right. And now I could see it. I mean, this is going to be our third year. I could really see it happening because it's coming together. And this is a close, close team. Right. So I can see it coming. Well, I know the guy that we're going to talk to in our next segment, Danny Jackson, has okay. won a couple of World Series championships. And he said that as well, that, that in those in those things there was a difference in that locker room. Yeah. In, you know, Chemistry. In, in how, how the guys talk to each other exactly. and work with each other. There's no like clicks, you know. After yeah. practice, we all go to eat lunch together. Yeah. It's not two, three guys. Well, let's talk about what's coming up for the Comets. You've got a Fan Fest that's coming up on September 29th at the Independence Event Center. It's a free event um, from 3 to 6 p.m. They've got all sorts of things, autograph sessions, and uh, you'll be out there for, for that, I'm sure. And, yeah, and yeah, what's, that's right. what's the atmosphere been like at the past 
It's uh, good. I fest. remember last year's Fan Fest was great. We had a little scrimmage for the fans on the okay. field. Yeah, That's we cool. warm up, you know, and, and then uh, play. The fans get to see. And then afterwards, we sign autographs. The fans get to really interact with us. And they get more time with us than they do in usually in season. So right. it's a good atmosphere. Yeah, and um, then you also do some things in the community. You know, you're one of, of what, four... Uh, of the comets that live here in Kansas City yeah, at that's this time, right. but yeah. but during the season you do a lot of things in the community, and then in the yeah, off season, obviously you're out here talking to us, exactly, and, yeah. and things like that. But uh, um, you know, what are some of the things that you've done in like the off season uh, to, to go and t and sp spread the word about the comets? Well, but we've also had we've had camps, you know, mm -hmm. camps for the kids throughout the summer, and as well uh, some appearances. And during during school year, of course, kids are in summer right now. We do appearances at schools. Sure. For the kids to try to get get them to come out to games, you know. For sure. Exactly. For sure, yeah. yeah. And with the community that we have here, they're so soccer oriented. Definitely, I can't I can't yeah. imagine that it's it's hard to say, hey, come on, you know. No, it's let not. me show you it's a little footwork, yeah. and, and then come on out, and we'll we'll. Yeah. And you once know. they come to one game, they're hooked, you know. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's yeah. good. Yeah, absolutely. Now I hear you have a certain kind of celebration that you personally have. When you score a goal, uh, I do. Well, I don't know. <laughs> this is something I read where you and it's like you jump up in in, in with the fans, or is that somebody else? No, that I that? think that that's my teammate. As yeah, a teammate. Think, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, which is no problem. Yeah. His name is Byron Alvarez. You know, he was MVP uh, show not last off. season. <laughs> <laughs> show off, yeah. But yeah, that's a teammate. So what is off. yours? Do you pump your fist? That's exactly yeah. it. Is that yeah, what you do? I just you know pump it and then celebrate with my team. Of course, kind of, of course. Than rather than going on my own because I mean the goal's great and yeah, I got the end, but it. There's a way it got there, you know. Someone helped me with it. So oh yeah, it I got to celebrate with the it team. It is always a team effort. Definitely, yeah, yeah. For, for that. Now, are there things like breakaways in in your game? Yeah, there is breakaways. Yeah, and actually, there's a penalty shot where it's a, be a shootout. You start from half, and everyone starts behind. Oh. And the minute you touch the ball, everyone can go. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> but the player has the advantage with the ball, so it's one on one with the right, goal. Yeah. And sometimes off a counter attack, there can be a breakaway. You know, a lot of time from the goalie's hand to a forward. So, yeah, so okay, happen. okay. So we got the Olympics going on. Who's, okay. who's going to win in soccer in men's and women's? Uh, Any prediction? I think I was actually just watching the women's game. Were you? Yeah, for the U.S. I think for the women, uh, U.S. is going to really. Yeah, for the men, because my favorite player actually yeah, on Sporting KC is uh, Espinoza. So I would I would like to see uh, Honduras. Oh, okay. Yeah, Honduras. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we've been talking with Vahid Asapur uh, from the Missouri Comets. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us here thank you. today, and we look forward to having you back on the show. I want to give out a little bit of information. Uh, you can go to CometsIndoorSoccer.com for more information on what we've you know on on Vahid, but also on season tickets. On there's an open tryout that's coming up. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Galaxy Girls tryout, which is the cheerleaders, I guess. Um, you can also go to their Facebook page, which is Comet Soccer, uh, or you can uh, call 855 KC Arena for tickets, and that's 855 uh, 52 27362 uh, for KC Arena. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and SheKC Magazine Show. We are coming to you from Danny Jackson's Incredible, located at 151st in Antioch. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. The sports stars are out in this month's Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine All-Star Game issue. Check out our exclusive Budweiser All-Star Game Baseball Report, plus the Great Life Golf and Fitness Report, and the Surplus Exchange KC Football Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine all over KC. And it's always free, so pick one up today. And be sure to check out Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness TV show. You'll find it on YouTube by searching for the Good Sports KC channel. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. 
These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, like Kansas City Chiropractic on Facebook and save 50% on a 30-minute massage. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you're playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913-438-5433. 438-5433. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrews Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Covera. For tee times, call St. Andrews at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. At Stanley Tire and Auto, you can get an oil change for $22.99, a wheel alignment for $69.99, and seniors can get a 10% discount on their purchase with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Visit Stanley Tire and Auto, located two blocks east of Metcalf off 151st Street, or call 913-239-8473. If you're buying or selling a home, contact Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. The Shannon Dozer Real Estate Group delivers a personal touch, professional approach, and positive results for every customer. Call Shannon at 913-488-9126 or visit shannondozer.com. We are back. You're watching and listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I am Steve Fish. Uh, today we're coming to you from Danny Jackson's uh, Incredible, located at 151st and Antioch Bowling Mini Golf Laser Tag with your coupon from Kansas City Sports and Fitness. You can buy a double play of any two activities and get a second double play free. Or buy one meal at their breakfast nook and get the second free. All you have to do is visit Incredible.com for more information. You can call 913-851-1700. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the First Student Charter Bus Rental Company. Those yellow buses that you see that transport your kids around can also be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, uh, church or youth group trips. Let's try that again. Church or youth group trips. That's a tough one. That's a tongue twister. Uh, Special events, shuttles, and more. So the next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow or and choose first. Call 816-514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange, 
football report. And this month we analyzed the story that appeared in Sports Illustrated on their website saying that the Chiefs have all the talent in place to be a Super Bowl contender this season. And in SheKC we feature a story on swimming training and how to avoid shoulder injuries. Plus we feature a story on the Women's Foundation of Greater Kansas City. You can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations including the Kansas City Ice Center and Mafia Mike's Pizza on 87th and Lackman. Uh, also Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. And you'll find SheKC at over 500 locations. Uh, you can find those locations by visiting our website, SheKC.com. If you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages. Our websites are KCSportsPaper.com and SheKC.com. And now you can view our show, this show, and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is go to their website and search for the Good Sports KC channel. And that's all one word, Good Sports KC. Now we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and they include the UPS stores at 103rd and Warnell and 121st and State Line in Leewood, faxing, scanning, notary services, the two South KC UPS stores offer services that can make life easier and help keep businesses running smoothly. The Bogey Beaters Golf Classic coming up on September 8th at Hodge Park. You can play golf with former Royals Greg Pryor, Danny Jackson, who'll be joining us in just a couple of minutes, Al Fitzmorris, and former Chief Walter White. Now, this tournament benefits Autism Speaks and the Liberty Hospital Foundation, and there is an entry form for the tournament in this month's Kansas City Sports and Fitness. You can also visit Hands on Golf, their Facebook page, for more details. And also Staley Farms Great Life Golf Club, where you can sign up now as a member for this elite golf club and save big. And for more information, call 816-595-7301 or visit StaleyFarms.com. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in SheKC, and they are Kansas City Chiropractic, Safe Kansas, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Pulofsky & Associates, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzercise, Garden of Delights, Yoga, Beans and Greens, I-9 Sports, and Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. Now, we are going to take another quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and SheKC Magazine Show. Today, we're coming to you from Danny Jackson's Incredible, located at 151st and Antioch. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. There's family fun for everyone at Danny Jackson's Incredible. Bowling, mini golf, laser tag, and more. Incredible has it all. And right now with the coupon in KC Sports and Fitness, you can buy one double play and get one free. Or buy one meal at Incredible's Breakfast Nook and get one free. Visit Incredible at 151st and Antioch. Find them online at Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center is now enrolling for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Come on out and check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman. And 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. There's still time to sign up for the Junior Golf Camp, Get Golf Ready Clinic, and the Family Golf Event featuring clinics and contests at Heart of America Golf Academy. Visit HOAGolfacademy.com or call 816-513-8940 for details. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit gardensofdelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. 
The goal of the Beans and Greens program is to encourage shoppers utilizing the Beans and Greens Match program to enhance their diets with local produce by making healthy local produce more accessible and affordable. For more information, visit beansandgreens.org. Donations are welcome. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th in Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 12627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. Great pizza and a great offer you can't refuse. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. Sign up now for the fall programs presented by I-9 Sports. Flag football, soccer, cheerleading, basketball, and baseball for boys and girls 2 to 14. All skills are welcome and there are no tryouts. Call 913-904-0810 or visit I-9Sports.com. Great golf, great fitness, and great prices. You'll find that combination at five KC area Great Life Golf Courses. Get unlimited green fees, seven-day advanced tee times, access to a full fitness center, and to 16 area golf courses. Visit greatlifegolf.com for more details on the $29.99 per month single or family membership at River Oaks and Grandview, the Oaks and Leavenworth, and courses in DeSoto and Ottawa. And find out more about the $49.99 membership at the Leavenworth Country Club. For great golf, great fitness, and great prices, visit greatlifegolf.com. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I am Steve Fish. Uh, today we're coming to you from former Royal Danny Jackson's Incredible, which is located at 151st in Antioch. Bowling, mini golf, and laser tag with your coupon from Kansas City Sports and Fitness. You can buy a double play of any two activities and get a second double play for free. Uh, you can also buy one meal at the Breakfast Nook and get the second meal for free. Visit Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700 for more information. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange, where you can outfit your office for under $500, including a computer, executive chairs, desks, flat screen monitors, office supplies, of course, computers, and more. You'll find them all at discounted prices at the Surplus Exchange. Visit their website at surplusexchange.org. You can also call 816-472-0444 for more information. And I also want to mention some of the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic, located off the plaza. Former Royal World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nutritional supplement information with us and nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more. And you can read our health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of KC Sports or She KC. Now to read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Burger Kings and Sport Clips all over KC, and of course here at Incredible as well. Uh, and now She KC is available at over 500 locations. Now in this month's She KC, we introduce you to a female police officer whose job is to serve the city on horseback as a part of the mounted patrol. And we also talk with a former golf pro, Liz Smart Hinton, who now teaches golf at the Overland Park Golf Course. Plus in KC Sports, we feature a, uh, our golf report, which is presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness. And we've got stories on the Overland Park Golf Courses and also why you should watch out for off-the-rack clubs. Now, I also want to mention that on August 4th, we'll be at Old Shawnee Pizza, located about a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road, and our taping will start at about 12.30 that day. Then coming up on Friday, and we're doing a Friday show uh, on August 10th, we will be at the Kansas City Ice Center, recording an upcoming show, and the KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive, and our taping uh, will start Sometime in the afternoon, we'll have more details on that. Now, on August, uh, uh, Saturday in August, we will be at a new location, the Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivira. More details are to come on that as well. I think we're looking at the 18th for that. 
And then on an upcoming Saturday in August, uh, we're planning on being back here at Danny Jackson's Incredible at 151st and Antioch, and our taping will start at about 12.30 that day also. Now, we have the privilege of uh, having as our, our guest here the, the man behind Incredible, and he's a, also a two-time world champ and a two-time Major League All-Star, Danny Jackson, owner of Incredible. Uh, he's also hosting our show today where we're doing our show. Welcome to the show, Danny. Thanks for thanks for coming out from your back office here to talk with us. We appreciate <laughs> that. Yeah, it's a long walk, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I know. So so I, I want to ask you a, a real simple one. Uh, we had Greg Pryor on last week, and I asked him the same question. It's 173 degrees outside right now. It's probably 220 on the baseball field. I'm exaggerating just slightly, I think. And when you were out there, you had a lot of physical activity going because you were the man with the ball and had to make things happen. But it's tough on the players to be out in this type of a climate and, and do that kind of stuff. What Was there a different philosophy when you played in this type of an environment uh, when you went out there and you pitched? Well, not really. The The main thing is, is you got to be in shape. And you, you can't not, not be in shape and, and go out there and play. What I used to do, too, is I used to... Uh, uh, run during the heat of the day and that would be from two o'clock to four o'clock uh, and that's when I would run and do my long distance because I knew if I'm going out there and at seven o'clock to pitch it's still hot out there but we also had artificial turf which made it even hotter right so um, I made sure that I was pounding the pavement at the hottest part of the day so that I would be used to the heat and the sweat and all those type things and, and hydrating back up uh, but nowadays, you know, they're moving all the way all back to that turf. And, and on that turf, truthfully, is is a lot uh, uh, cooler than what it was when we were playing. Really? So we, we we had our work cut out for us. And, uh, you know, I remember back then, too, when, uh, you know, George and, and Frank and, and Willie and all them. And, and that's why I pitched so fast is so to get them off the field because – they're actually on the turf, and on the turf is, is a lot harder with their cleats, and, and they always had to wear cleats out there. And so they'd come in, and they had to stick their feet in a, an ice bucket because the cleats got so hot. So, right. So the object is get them in and get them out, you know. And, and obviously they're a little frustrated when you're going out there not throwing strikes and things <laughs> like that. And, of course, we are too. But uh, right. it's, it's, a, it's a little bit different, but still the same. For sure. Now, um in current baseball right now, the uh, the complete game is kind of sort of a thing of the past. And, you know, when you were younger, uh, 25 and 26, you, you had, you threw like almost 500 innings in that time period. And you had like 25 or so complete games. So it was, it was more common in your era to do that. Um, why do you think they think about pulling a pitcher in the seventh inning and then they have the middle relief guys and than the closer and stuff like that. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Really, I think it's a bad thing um, because uh, y you never, you're never ever, if you're getting pulled all the time in the uh, sixth, seventh inning, you're never ever going to be able to get to that point where you can complete a game. And and that's, that's become the issue because you have a lot of guys out there that cannot even come close to completing a game because first off they have never pitched into the ninth inning secondly right. they have never thrown that many pitches to go to the ninth inning and to me if you if you look at the innings and the number of pitches if you're throwing between 12 to 15 pitches an inning those are good innings yeah so if you take 15 pitches and and you're going out there and you're you're going out there for nine innings you know, you're at 120, 130 pitches already. Mm -hmm. So, to, in my mind, that's where you should always be, and and that's what the game has been designed. Now, they're uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're babying the pitchers. Right. You know, they're paying this extra, you know, the, the this amount of money when they sign, and coming out of high school and, and all that, or, or coming out of college, well, to me, they should be checking their, you know, record as far as how do they prepare before a game, not not just going by, okay, well, this guy threw this many pitches and got this many guys out. Okay, what's his workout ethic? Is he working hard? Is he doing the things he needs to be doing, stretching, doing all that stuff to right. make sure that when he's prepared that, you know, the less chance that you're going to risk an injury. Um, and I always felt that, well, when I was 23 and 8 that one year, we were in a four-man rotation. Mm-hmm. And in that four-man rotation, and I think that's what's happened with all the off days and all that stuff that's going on today, 
uh, even though we had off days then, that on our four-man rotation, I only threw three times during a season that I had a four four days rest through a game, four days rest through a game, four days rest through a game. Right. So I only threw three times in a row, which was two times a year, that I actually had to do that. Right. The rest of the time were normal five-day rest. And on top of that is that during that time, I was throwing the nine-inning games, and I was throwing 100 pitches. Right. I was a lot, lot sharper, a lot better, and, and throwing quick strikes and getting quick games and all those type things were happening. Right. They've gotten away with that. you got fans out there that are tired of, oh, the games are too long. You mm-hmm. hear that complaint. Mm-hmm. Well, there's one way of fixing it. Go to a four-man rotation, make those guys pitch, and they're only throwing 90 pitches as opposed to 135. Right. I take 90 over 135 any day. Right. And that's why those guys before me had lasted so long because and their arms lasted so long. They were on a four-man rotation. They were doing 100 pitches and a day. And they were in shape because they were doing it every, every four or five days, right. whatever. And, yeah, and they were prepared to do it, and, and you, don't, you didn't lose that extra day where your body could get out of shape. Right. Kind of. I equate it that, okay, you're going out there and you're going to pitch today once every six days. Yeah. Go on a job, any job, anywhere, <laughs> and do it once every six days. There's no way you can do your job once every six days. Right. It's impossible. But you could do it once every three days or once every four days. That's a lot and, easier. And be at the, at the top of your game top or, of more, your game. or closer to the top right. of your game. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and then, then they're talking about uh, sitting a pitcher. I think he pitches for the Nationals, Strasburg, to protect his arm, even though they're in contention. I mean, that was that was the talk around All Star Game, and and I I, I kind of went seriously. You're talking about a big deal here, and th- I just found that interesting. I mean, you know, it's, I guess the millions of dollars are more important on spending well, that, on that player and what whatever they've guaranteed to him. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, you got a kid that's. Well, you're supposed to be in, in shape right now. Right. By far. Right. Okay, so now you're going to sit there and you're going to throw them against uh, or rest them, uh, whatever it may be, a week, two weeks, pick the number. Now you got to come back out there and you got to face a major league hitter and you got to be a sharp impossible. Impossible. Right. You're not going to be that way. There's, there's no way you can do that. Especially because those guys are playing every day. Exactly. And they're right. going to be sharp. You know, pretty yeah, sharper. And so there's yeah. no way you're going to be sharp. There's no, and then to me, I think you risk injury more so that way because now yeah. you're shutting them down. Well, now you got to get your arm cranked back up. <laughs> well, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Right. So I vote Danny Jackson for pitching coach. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a lot of philosophies out there that people, you know, in, the, in today's game, they're more worried about uh, the money end of it rather than okay, yeah. let's take a look at the athlete. Let's take a look at him. And I, d- I do believe the more you're you're using your muscles the more you're using your body the less time you're going to uh risk injury you know but atrophy <laughs> yeah in a sense in a sense yeah in a sense because a, a lot of guys they don't they don't throw the day after they pitch mm-hmm. i used to play long toss the day after i yeah. pitch just to c- stretch, stretch out the muscle back out yep. muscle back yep. out and yep. they don't do that today and i'm like why that doesn't make sense now you've got your your arm contracted Right, and then you go out there, and then you're going to throw a side pin a, a day later. Well, what are you doing to your arm? Mm-hmm. You're stretching it back out there, but not, not only that, you're stretching it back out there. You're stretching out with a lot more force right. than doing a nice, easy long right. toss. Right, right, right. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> but I'm not in the game. Yeah. Well, let's talk about what you are doing right now. Uh, we want to talk about Incredible. Um, how long has Incredible been around here in Kansas City? We've been here for 15 years, and we kind of evolved in what we were doing. You know, we used to be a bowling alley with just a snack bar and a, and a, a sports grill. Now we've, we've come to where we're a family entertainment center where we've, we've added, uh, took out a one lane and put in a living room, which is more an upscale type area for, for the corporate end of it and, and all that. And then we added the uh, uh, miniature golf course, and the miniature golf course is all indoors, 18 holes, so that we could... Uh, you know, cater to more people, and then we added in the laser tag, and then the laser tag is another uh, area where we added that that enhances what we have here. So um, we've done all those things, and then we put in a breakfast nook now, where we serve breakfast from uh, 7 a.m. all the way until 2 o'clock every day, and and that brings in a more clientele. So it gives us a more of a multi-facility that is. Uh, really family oriented and a corporate oriented that that people can come here and have a good time and have a good meal and uh bowl or golf or laser tag if they want to and if they don't want to do any of those things you know they're at the breakfast nook eating a nice breakfast or lunch and 
and then on the corporate end, you know, we've got some, you know, we can serve prime rib all the way down to your your soup and salads and all that in the, in the corporate end of it. And uh, trust me, the food's good because I've eaten it all uh, because I'm also bragging too because sometimes I make it. So I know right. it's good. <laughs> right. And then you also do things like, uh, you know, graduation parties and, and you know, those things, those things in life, uh, you know, weddings and anniversaries and all those types of things yeah, as we well. Do, we You've do got an upstairs area that is a big area. Yeah, we've got upstairs that, that holds 225 people and we do, a, it's a, a great place with bar mitzvahs, bar mitzvahs, anniversaries, uh, res, you know, alumni associations, uh, you know, uh, grad parties and, and all those type things and weddings. And, uh, and here lately we've had a, quite a few uh, ladies come in here and, and, uh, and, and require, inquire about the, the upstairs for the weddings. And uh, if, if, if you guys have not ever seen uh, the place right now what we have is is on our web page you can go click on it and it's uh, incredible.com i-n-c-r-e-d-a-b-o-w-l uh, and if you click on that we got little videos that will show you the living room that will show you the upstairs that will show you the cosmic and our new cosmic that we have right now which is really really neat we're the only one in town that has it right now and then it shows you the golf and the laser tag and all those type things. So you really get a good view of what Incredibles like as far as the family entertainment center is concerned. And you have a bunch of different packages that people can take advantage of. Of course, we mentioned the double play, which is one of those packages where you can take any two of the activities that you have here and combine them together. Uh, you've also got, uh, what, are the, what are some of the other ones? Well, we got a triple play package where you go on there, and it's any three activities. It saves you about $5 if you were going to come here and do awesome. a la carte, you know, so it, it really saves you money. And we have some daily specials, you know, with, like uh, there's a, a 1075 that you can go do a double play as, as opposed to doing 1275. Uh, you do the 1075 on a Thursday, and uh, that, that seems to have been working quite a bit. We also right. have... So the lane rental by the hour we we've gone back and forth with that but uh, we're going to stick with it and it's 45 dollars an hour to bowl on the lane and up to six people and and that will save you a little bit of money as opposed to to trying to come in here and, and, and bowl and golf or bowl and, and buy the shoes sure the 75 the 45 dollars saves you a little money and in your second hour is 35 dollars so it really saves you a little bit more money so so how many pair of golf sh or, or golf shoes? how many pair of bowling shoes do you have I only have one. <laughs> okay. Now, if you were to ask bowling balls, that would be a lot. But I've actually gotten rid of a lot of them. I only throw with one bowling ball or oh, two. Oh, okay. No, no, I meant, I meant back behind the counter here. Oh, back behind the counter. <laughs> I'm, just, oh, I'm just joking gosh, with you. Yeah, I'm yeah, just well, joking with you. Yeah, about 200. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, um, And uh, you also, like, I, like we said, birthday packages and things like that. I mean, you're very busy today. Looks like it's a lot of families that came in today. But when I, we first came in to set up for this show, there was a birthday party that was going on and things like that. You've got a room over on the side here where people can host their birthday parties and have the cakes and the ice cream and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well. we have that uh, area over there. Uh, it's called Center Field, and um, that's where all the birthday parties are, are happening. And we have seven packages that they can choose from. And it and it's, you know, with food, without food, uh, doing one activity all the way up to three activities. So it, it's pretty extensive. And then and so how much you want to have fun with, uh, with the birthday party uh, child and everything and their friends and all that and and you pick it and we sure it's a uh, reasonably priced and and you know people enjoy it we have our also uh we always have one party coach that's with you to help you with your party now right they just guide you and direct you where to go and help sometimes with with all the kids and make sure the shoe sizes are right and then the, your party room set up and then they they clean the party room for you but um uh, they don't cut your cake. They don't, you know, <laughs> help out in some of those other areas that, that you know, I always feel is important for the mom and, and the yeah. dad to participate. But so. the, pa the package, when you call in, it makes it easy for mom or, or dad to, to see everything that's involved in it. And, right. and you take care of all, all that stuff, you know, all that preparation and things like that for them so that it goes smoothly and easily. Right. And that's, right. Real, that's real important. That's what mom and dad want is, right. is for you guys to help make it smooth and easy. Well, we're, we're obviously, we're talking with Danny Jackson, who owns Incredible here, located at 151st and Antioch. And, of course, you can call them at 913-851-1700 or visit Incredible.com, I-N-C-R-E-D-A-B-O-W-L.com. And I love the, the living room. Uh, that, that is just a cool place. 
It's a great place uh, for all the corporate end of it and then the peoples that want to want to get away from uh, some of the kids and all the, the, the higher activities that happen out here. It's a good place to go in. It's lounge chairs and all that for you to, to relax a little bit. And you got your own private bar and your own private shoes and, and your bowling balls are in there too. And, and again, you can go in there and you can relax. You don't have to bowl, but go and relax and have some food with hors d'oeuvres all the way up to, again to prime rib and salmon. And and it's it's your choice. We cater everything uh, around what you want. Mm-hmm. Um, and you dictate how much you want to spend or what you, what you don't want to spend. Right. We've only got about another minute, minute and a half or so, but um, what kind of hitter were you? When you played most of your career, right, in the National League. Yeah. I, what I kind hit, of hitter were you? I hit around... Uh, you know, between 150 to 180, I don't know exactly That's what it good. is, but uh, you know, for me, I I had a lot of doubles. Uh, really? Yeah, um, I had quite a few doubles, and, and that's what I was happy with because yeah. either I was getting a double or striking out one of the two. <laughs> but you know, but you were either putting yourself in scoring position or moving somebody around. Moving the bases. someone around, yeah. but I, you know, for me, the most important thing is being able to bunt the ball and make sure yeah. I move the guy over for for the top of the lineup to to get him in, and and it, it helps everyone out. And so I was a pretty good bunter. Yeah, and how much did you work on that? I mean, I worked on it every single day for really? about a half hour to an hour. Wow! And but that's what you have to do. And sometimes it's it's weird because you you need a, a pitching machine that's going to throw ninety miles an hour to you mm-hmm. because it's a huge difference trying to bunt ninety mile an hour than it is off a coach <laughs> that's throwing sixty. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It yeah. gets on you pretty fast. Well, I even watch some of these guys, and just the way they set up for the bunt now is, is totally different than what the way we were taught. I mean, it's almost like I want to look over the bat at the bat hitting the ball. Not that we would necessarily do that, but you, you squared yourself. Yeah. But now they're, it's a different kind of thing. You know? It's a little bit different. Yeah, it looks but tougher. It just I, looks tougher. Well, to I've seen a lot of uh, bad uh, uh, mechanics on bunting, you know, from, from what I've seen. And, and, uh, and it's got kind, kind of a way away from some of the pitchers right. but i think some of the pitchers and i think because of, of you know national league american league that some of the pitchers that come over from the american league or the national league don't quite understand how important mm-hmm. if you were to get that bun over and how it helps out their whole morale of the team and everything that that's a huge that's a huge thing for sure well danny thank you very much for joining us that will do it for our show today my thanks to incredible danny jackson for hosting us uh, today, uh, thank you again for joining us. I also want to thank Missouri Comet Vahid Asatpour for joining us too. Very enlightening, uh, for filling us in on his background and on what's coming up with the Comets. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. Check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise. In Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC magazines, you'll find them all over Kansas City, and they're free, so pick them up today. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, like Kansas City Chiropractic on Facebook and save 50% on a 30-minute massage. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. 
Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. The city's best 18-hole championship golf course, Staley Farms is a truly enjoyable private club experience for golfers of all skill levels with a welcoming atmosphere where members can always get a tee time, offering both fine dining and a casual grill, plus a soon-to-be state-of-the-art fitness center. Our rustic clubhouse is an inviting place for the whole family. Going on now through the end of June, get a $500 card voucher with your membership. Whatever your handicap, prepare for a unique experience at Staley Farms. There's family fun for everyone at Danny Jackson's Incredible. Bowling, mini golf, laser tag, and more. Incredible has it all. And right now with the coupon in KC Sports and Fitness, you can buy one double play and get one free. Or buy one meal at Incredible's Breakfast Nook and get one free. Visit Incredible at 151st and Antioch. Find them online at Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrew's Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrew's at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. 